What's going on, you guys? AJ Tucker here with AJ Self Defense, and I'm over here. My uh, daughter, she's 12 years old. She has volleyball tryouts. And as I sit here to pick her up from school, I'm thinking in my head, like, all right, I got to make a video, another self defense video. But as I'm picking her up, I'm thinking there's a lot of um, there's a lot of young girls going away to college right now. And so that's what I want to talk about right now. These girls going out to college and and guys too to some degree. But this is going to be a regular year depending on where you go into college and there's not like an online option last year some schools were regular most schools switched to an online option so this is going to be uh people's first time back in a while and they're kids and so there's always those dangers out there you want your kid to have a good year and you don't you don't really want to think about and worry about this kind of stuff right but it's it's out there and a lot of people think about when it comes to attacks uh, in college, which are very common, it's um, it's stranger danger attacks. Like somebody jumps out of the bushes and they grab you and you have to fight that person off. While that happens, what occurs most is someone that you know or that you're already acquainted with. And you may be thinking, wait, my daughter's a freshman. She doesn't know anybody. Well, whenever you go into college, you get acquainted with new people. And so it could be somebody that you've known for years. It could be somebody that you've known for a couple of days. It could be somebody that you know for a couple, knew for a couple of weeks. And 90% of incidents are alcohol related. So make sure you keep that in mind. Like when you when you take in alcohol, you might think like, oh, if I watch my drink, make sure nobody puts anything in it, I should be good to go. That's not the case. The average girl in college, she weighs in between 125 to 135 pounds, never really had anything to drink before. And all of a sudden, she's at a party and she's drinking a punch that has Everclear in it. And that and like this much, this much in there where that you can get drunk from it. OK, if it's a full cup, you can pass out from it. I'm not saying that's normal, but you can literally pass out from a full cup of every uh, punch with the Everclear in it and you're out. And so a couple of tips, you know, just to watch, just watch out for that, you know. Uh, if you do happen to go to the, to a party, make sure you have a buddy with you. Make sure you have a couple of buddies with you. Go in a group, and you know if you and and be careful with going to off campus parties. Off campus parties has a different set of rules to it. I keep looking over there because I'm looking to make sure my daughter doesn't come out. Off campus parties happen to have, you know, different rule different rules apply stuff like that and if you're a guy you know you still have to watch out for that stuff too guys can also be sexually assaulted so don't don't get it twisted man but anyway kids be safe out there when you go into high school college or wherever you may be